Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to get all the tables with or without primary key constraint in SQL Server database. Let's open SSMS and take a look. Here, I have already written this query and I'm using system views to gather this information. So in the information underscore schema schema, we have a tables view, we have a table underscore constraint view, and we have constraint underscore column underscore usage view. So we'll be using these different views to gather this information. First of all, why we need to use these three different views to gather this information? Because none of the, let's say t uh, information underscore schema dot tables view does not provide us all the information. It does give us a table catalog, that's a database name. It does give us the table uh, schema. So we know that in which uh, schema this table is created. It tells us the table name, but it does not give us uh, the column name on which uh, the constraint is uh, created. So that information comes from constraint underscore column underscore usage view. So you see that this uh, uh, view has that uh, information. So that's uh, where I'm using this one and getting this uh, column underscore name. Then uh, TC, if you see that the constraint name does not come from tables. So this uh, view does not have uh, the constraint name. So I have to use a table underscore constraint view to get uh, the constraint name. And then finally, I'm using this constraint name and I'm putting a case statement. I'm saying when tc dot constraint name is not null, so that means it is a it has a value. Then give me yes. Otherwise, give me no. And as has primary key constraint. So that's a, a derived column. I'm I'm driving from constraint underscore name. Now you see that we are using three system views and we are using left un so with the left un what happen you are telling this query okay give me everything from the left table so this is our left table and it is going to return all the records so it will return us all the table names okay then as we want to get the constraint name so if there is a constraint name depending upon these conditions so we have this joining condition where we are joining on tab, uh, database name, we are joining on schema name, and we are joining on a table name. Also, we are only joining for the values uh, where constraint type is the primary key. So we are joining uh, on these conditions. Uh, if uh, the value does exist uh, in this view and matches uh, according to our criteria, give me the value. Okay, and if uh, it will not exist, it will return us a null. So with the left UN, what happened? You get everything from your left table and all the matching records uh, from your right table. And if uh, there is no matching record, uh, you will get null value in that uh, column. So right here, see constraint name is coming uh, from, uh, uh, we are using left UN and we are using uh, uh, TC dot constraint name. So this is our TC, this is our right table and this is also one of the right table we have here and uh, if uh, we get, uh, run this query so let me execute this so if i execute i get everything from this so you can see that i have a database name this is coming from here i have a table schema that's coming from here i have table name that's coming from here now the next part as I was saying, you will get everything or all the columns values from your left table. So it was information underscore schema dot tables. So that's what we got these three columns. Now for the next columns, we are using left join. So wherever it is, it has the matching values, we get it. So let's say column name. So you see that column cc dot ccu dot column name. So this is a coming up from here, right here. And this is the view we are using. And if the value does exist, so that's where we get the value. And if it does not exist, we do not, uh, we will just present null. That's how our left join work. The same thing goes for constraint name. You see it here. It is also part of left join. So we get everything from tables. Then if we have the matching records, we will get the matching record. If not, it will just show the null values in that column. So you see that constraint name, that's the column. And wherever we find the values matching, 
and uh, that's returning us otherwise it is returning us a null so you you learn about uh, left join very well here and then again i'm using this column with the case statement so you see that i'm saying case when tc dot constraint name is not null then yes see i'm just using these values so if there is a value say yes so otherwise say no or i could have say uh, again i could have put uh, when uh, value is null then uh, uh, no but as there are only two possibilities there would be value or there would be null values so i just said that okay if there is a value give me yes if there is no value okay uh, or sorry if there is a value give me yes else give me no i know that there is going to be there there is only one else like it is going to be null anyways so give me no fine now that's all you need to do and uh, we have all the information so we use a uh, uh, information schema dot tables we use a table underscore constraints and we use a constraint underscore column underscore usage to gather this information so you also understand why we need to use the joins because sometimes we do not have all the information in one table or a view so we have to join them to get get that information and we will be always joining on the columns where we have matching values so in this case table name is joined with table name schema name, table schema is joined with table schema so that's how you will join and get your related information i hope this video will help and uh, especially in the interview question you can tell them like you know about system views how to gather the information and how to write your queries with the left join thanks and i will see you guys in the next video